The Neighborhoods of Greater Laurelville, the organization that I work for, is an umbrella group for six communities along Harford Road from Parkside to Echo Dale, Laurelville being one, Walterson um, complementing Laurelville on the east side of Harford Road, Morgan Park, an historic African-American middle class community um, just to the east side of the Morgan State Campus, um, Moravia, Walther, Beverly Hills, and Arcadia. Northeast Baltimore is an interesting mix of people because this is the suburbs. And so that if you grew up in Highland Town, if you grew up in Patterson Park, you, your family dreamed of moving to the suburbs and it would have been, um, it would have been Laraville, it would have been Walterson, um, Beverly Hills, Arcadia. These are the areas that your family would have dreamed to come, in, come to. Um, white picket fences and gardens and safe place, much what brought me here from Patterson Park to keep my kids safe and engaged as they became teenagers. And right now uh, we're experiencing somewhat of a change over we have, when I came here, uh, there was majority, a majority of senior, well, almost senior citizens, and today uh, they are uh, more senior citizens than they are young people. However, young people are starting to move into the community with um, uh, more children, and I believe right now we have more children in Morgan Park uh, today than we've had uh, in the past, and uh, this is wonderful. Uh, the Northeast area was was really considered a, a, a white catchment area. There's a lot of history uh, in Baltimore about segregation. Uh, just just to give you a quick, you know, uh, general rule of thumb of, of segregation history in Baltimore. Prior to 1890, prior to the, 19, to the 20th century, uh, the races were not physically segregated um, by neighborhood. They were segregated by um, streets, by blocks. Uh, they were segregated by the uh, social ethic at the time. Uh, and, um, they were, uh, and also other type of laws of uh, what uh, African Americans could or could not do. Uh, Physical segregation by neighborhood did not really occur until you had the creation of the electric streetcars, uh, a lot of the xenophobia that was being created because of the um, huge European migrations from Eastern Europe, especially uh, a lot of Eastern Europeans came to Baltimore. So you start to see physical neighborhood segregation happening in the 1890s, uh, early 1900s. Well, for, you know, the transformation from uh, uh, from a uh, rural farm village to a uh, city suburb, you know, a, a suburban neighborhood uh, built in in the city and, and acts as a city neighborhood has those political and social connections with the uh, with Baltimore City. Uh, there was some, some huge changes uh, occurred. Um, you know, the first of the changes, of course, is, you know, uh, very basic uh, city, uh, uh, city fire and police. You know, that was really important back in 1918 when, this, when most of this area became part of the, uh, the city. In 1994, 1995, the, there's a Safeway on Harford Road just north of our office. It was a, a abandoned bus, Baltimore City bus terminal and it really blighted the area and was a symbol of how lack of maintenance by the city had eroded a really beautiful um, residential, uh, suburban style residential community. And residents self-organized and contacted Safeway on their own and um, conducted a commercial analysis of the area and convinced Safeway to purchase the property and put in um, one of the first um, supermarkets in the city in um, several decades. And they were so um, affirmed in their abilities that, to do that at the grassroots level that they formalized into what was called the Harford Road Partnership. And the ABLE Foundation funded them to um, create an organization to stabilize the commercial corridor on Harford Road from Parkside to Echo Dale. It was a huge boost to the community to have a shop, um, a grocery store within walking distance and to just turn that um, abandoned site into something that became the community center. And from that, the 
community mobilized with city resources and some local foundations to do a master plan for Harford Road. An overused word, but really appropriate here is diverse. Um, economic and racial diversity is, has a really nice smooth curve here that there's no one group that kind of spikes as you look across the demographics. We have firemen and heads of city agencies, the governor of the state of Maryland, and nurses and doctors and nonprofit heads and um, teachers and, and lots of really great people um, who bring a certain level of passion and commitment to their home and their family that spills out into each of the six neighborhoods in a way that um, makes you feel really good about being here. Um, we have a, a heavy concentration of artists, performing artists and visual artists in the area, and they um, do a lot to knit the social fabric here as well. Uh, I think it's excellent. I think the, uh, well, uh, property values are increasing. Home ownership is uh, increasing. Uh, there seems to be a diversity of um, uh, folks living there of all creeds, colors, and sexuality, uh, also their uh, and, and job occupations. You know, I think that's really important to to create a stable community. Um, and uh, people move to Arcadia. Most of the people that move to Arcadia have the ability to move in a, to other neighborhoods. And it's a neighborhood of choice. My my favorite story um, in the past year that's happened is Arcadia. Um, the residents, the day after Christmas, 2006, just passed, um, decided that they were going to do their own ball drop like Times Square. And um, a couple of the guys got together and they used chicken wire and um, Christmas lights to create this huge ball and they erected a 30-foot pole to drop it down, made their own flyers and distributed it that week between Christmas and New Year's and over a hundred residents came out for, to celebrate the New Year. They set up tents and had um, drinks and food and drop the ball at midnight and it was really um, it was quite fun they're gonna do it again next year great photographs